Ugh. Wading into the foul pits of despair that is Huffpo. You guys are gonna owe me for this one. Okay. Let's go. Is your company looking to maximize their output while cutting back on costs? Why well, yes, pasty face feminist in a HuffPo video, I do believe that's how a business tends to work. Okay, so we have a feminist woman, fake business setting, talking about money. I'm guessing wage gap video. Fuck. Just fuck. Not this again. Fuck you all. Fuck. Why outsource all your production to faraway countries like India, China, and Narnia when we have the cheapest and best workforce right here in the good old U.S. of A? Women. Wait, what? That's right. With pink sourcing, women are a bargain at the workplace. And Wait, what? Since you only have to pay them 77 cents on the dollar. Right, Kathy? Wait, what? I make 60 cents. Who are you, Bill Gates? Vicky, I make 55 cents. Who is she, Yeezy? <laughs> no, come on. Those are men. Did, 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 did you, did, did, did you just, did you just make my argument for me? Even more importantly, you don't have to pay women overtime. They'll never ask for a raise, and they don't complain about their working conditions. Holy fudge nuggets, they did. They just made my argument for me. <laughs> that was unbelievable. Right, Kathy? Don't forget, women are great at remembering birthdays. They're the only ones who bring baked goods into the office. I want to believe this is satire. I really, really, really want to believe this is satire. Because if it was, it would be fucking epic. And Kristen Bell would be my new waifu. Unfortunately, I know very well that they are serious. Because this is HuffPo, and they have zero humor and even less self-awareness. But yeah, HuffPo, if you could really pay women 23% less than a man, it would be market-breakingly cost-effective for a business to hire only women. Brilliant. And, they smell nice. Also, you don't have to pay for women's birth control. And if they do get knocked up, when they leave to have the baby, you get off scot-free. But don't worry, guys. Your boner pills are still covered. You know, an honest person would have compared birth control pills to condoms. And ladies, who cares if you make 30,000 less than men at your job? You know, Kristen, this may be an inappropriate time for me to mention that I have a certain fetish for snooty dumbasses in pantsuits, but, um, if I were your boss, I would totally make sure that you had all the birth control you needed if you get my drift. Wink, wink. Because I would be having sex with you frequently, you understand. When they have free tampons in the bathroom. I would dip you in sparkles, put you in a Japanese schoolgirl uniform with a blue-haired wig, and make you call me Al-sama, is what I'm saying. Best of all, you can promote literally anyone else besides them, especially if they're less qualified. You're late for the three o'clock cuddle! You missed the part where he beats her with a whip and places the collar back onto her before herding her back into the breeding pens. Tisk. It's starting to seem as though you've never worked at a job before. <laughs> Women work. <laughs> I kill me sometimes. Ooh, sorry, Kathy. My name is Sharon. Bitch. I don't really know what to say to this. I mean, I literally don't have an argument to make. The video speaks for itself, and ten times better than I ever could. I may as well just sit here and make warbling throat noises until it's over. After all, women don't even really want to be working anyway. They'd rather be home, taking care of the family. <laughs> While their husband gets to make life choices and follow his dreams and play fantasy football. Like I said, I got nothing. Here's a video of people making silly faces. Uh. 
I can't make my neck go away. <laughs> oh, there's my back! If Ellie was here, she could do it! So try pink sourcing today. Pink sourcing, pretty, cheap labor. Will also work for compliments. They're actually fighting on my side for once. I'm so confused. Does the fact that I was going to make a video debunking this make me a feminist now? Because if so, I need a bath. A long bath. In battery acid. With a plutonium scrub brush. Yeah, I'm gonna go get on that. Uh, later.